Do you remember when we saw R.E.M.? <laughs> of course. At the bowl, 19th of August, 1995. Why do you always do that? I mean, we all know you remember everything. I wasn't trying to be annoying. <laughs> you did ask me if I remember. It was a great night. R.E.M. and the Cranberries and... And, and Hole? No. Courtney Love wasn't there. She played, I remember seeing them. Google it. No, I, I believe you. If you say they played, I'm sure they did. Because that's the first time I met Robin. Ten years. It's been <laughs> ten years since you guys. Yeah. All through school and uni and everything. And they say lesbians can't commit, eh? <laughs> so true. Is everything okay between you guys? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, so what's your favourite R.E.M. song? Country Feedback. It's never changed. Good choice, good choice. And yours is Crush With Eyeliner. Because you know everyone else's life better than they do. Alright, sorry. What is it then? Yes, well it is of course, my crush with eyeliner. <laughs> Uh, we performed it at one of those god-awful nights of the pits. You seem to like it at the time. I still like it. I like that we performed there so many times. God, what could be better than a grunge venue in a swimming pool? <laughs> All of us covered in makeup, wearing those black oh. tights and <sighs> tiny children walking past in their little judo outfits. The smell of chlorine wafting over the mosh pit. Uh, yeah. And do you remember how we used to go through so many random underpasses just to get to that che cheap offy that would sell us red wine? <laughs> and we didn't have a corkscrew, so we used to break it off the wall or use someone else's shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> Flowers scorch, the film is on, on the maddening room, these clothes. These clothes don't fit us right, clothes don't fit us right. and I'm to blame, it's all the same, it's all the same. You come to me with a bone in your hand. Come to me with your hair curled tight. Come to me with positions. You come to me with excuses. Dark down in a row. You wear me out. You wear me out. A paperweight, a chunk of rock. Why don't we do this anymore? You stop singing. You stop singing for free or for fun. Oh. No, I didn't I didn't stop singing. I just didn't want to make a career out of it. Which you've done so successfully. Well, I guess so. No need for false modesty. You really have. You could have too. Nah, I'm not like you. Stop pretending that I am. Okay, wait. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just wish they'd hurry up and get back. I thought you said you wanted us to spend some time together. Isn't that why you insisted that they go out climbing together? I thought we'd have some time to spend together, but we haven't really. 
all weekend you've been off on your jolly with your new boyfriend. You quite literally invited him. You didn't ask me to invite him. You just went straight up to Al and said, hey, you should come over this weekend. And in front of me, so I didn't even have time to say no. I thought you really liked him. Yeah, I do. I guess. I just... Oh, I never expected our first weekend away together to be... What? This shit? No, or just... Just not with friends I hadn't seen in ages. I mean, I don't even know if I like him yet, and he's already been a part of the tensest weekend of my whole life. Well, you didn't have to come. And you've had worse weekends than this. Yeah, thanks. That's not what I mean. We should get going. It's a long walk from here to Campbell Park. Like I said before, I... <sighs> I just don't know if I want to walk that far. I'm still not feeling great. Well, if we go, we go. We do or we don't. We can't just change our minds halfway. We could just get the bus back. It's a really nice view at the top. You'd actually really like it. I know. I've lived here my whole life. I mean, I used to live here, but <laughs> you act as if I don't know anything. Always been a thorn in the side, but to me, you're a shining light. You arrive and the night is alive. Yeah, you are a shining light. Yeah, you light up my life. We made a connection, a full on chemical reaction. But by dark divine intervention, yeah, you are a shining light, a constellation once seen over oh, Royal Davis City, an epiphany of birds so pretty, yeah, you are a shining You always took care of me, you know. When I was in a bad place, you were always there. You told me the truth and you were there. Yeah, of course. But are you not okay? Do you, do you need something? No, I, I'm fine. That's, that's not what I'm trying to say. Okay, what's wrong? There's nothing wrong with me. But <laughs> that's kind of the problem, isn't it? You always want to be the person who fixes things, never the person who needs the help. You always want to be fixing me and not the other way around. That's not true. I talk about my problems. I remember that night you and Robin finally got together. <laughs> God, you've been skirting around it for what? A year? <laughs> and you just sat there on the edge of the dance floor against that black curtain. I'd never actually seen you speak to each other before, but you were just sat there giggling and giggling. <laughs> God, how did we drift so far apart, eh? Like, do you remember when I used to know exactly what you were thinking before you even said anything? <laughs> like that one time in the library when you were speaking to Todd for, what, two minutes? Yeah, and you knew straight away you could have stopped me. You could have saved you the trouble there. Two years wasted with that precocious, patronising wannabe Marilyn Manson. <laughs> I'll never get all that angst back. Oh, I can never understand how someone so small could look down on you so much. Yeah, classic small man complex, I guess. When will they get back, eh? 
Who knows? People who love climbing really seem to love it. They could be gone for hours. <laughs> Why did you go to bed last night? It had been a long day. And uh, and you had dragged me around so many places when you knew I wasn't feeling well. Yeah, but we were all having fun baking together and then you just suddenly went to bed. I didn't like the way you were speaking to Robin. <laughs> How was I speaking to her? It's the way you've been speaking to me more and more. Like what? Like, I'm an idiot. Like, she's an idiot. Like, we're your annoying kids who kept doing everything wrong. And I wanted to tell her, I wanted to tell my oldest friend's girlfriend that she should just leave you. That she didn't have to stay. That no one deserves to be in a relationship where they are treated this way. I don't understand why you're being so horrible to us. But I also can't live with myself that I, I want to tell the one person you have to just leave you, that she didn't have to put up with this anymore, that she doesn't have to stay imprisoned in all this anger and denial with you. That's what you really think. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. 